My question goes to Deputy Huang Li. As we know, you're in the business of infrared technology. It's a cutting-edge field. And for infrared technology to be independent and self-sufficient, what is your experience? Thank you. Thank you for the question. I am from the Hubei delegation. My name is Huang Li. I could be said as a businessman in the field of technologies. And before my years of starting up my business, I already accumulated some experience in infrared imaging. I solved some bottleneck problems and filled in some loopholes in China. When you asked your question, I was hit by one story. Years ago, in a conference, the one person sitting in front of me was a veteran. He lost his arms. I was thinking back then, was there any technology to help the disabled losing their arms in the battles to live just like normal people? After years of efforts, I took a team of brain-computer interface to develop the chips. And right now, even overseas, there could be only 3,000 channels for BCI. And it's one way, but we could accomplish like uh, 65,000 channels, and it's a two-way system. It's a world-leading technology. Many impossible healthcare scenarios could uh, apply our technology. For example, you could uh, feel something in your processes, and you can also control the processes. Some neural diseases could be treated. For example, depression, epilepsy, and Parkinson's disease. And also, with the BCI, we could remotely control the computers. Externally, we can control the equipment like your mouses and you can type in the words to communicate. And also, the blind people could see something, memories could be stored. Those realities now used to be only in the fictional movies, but now they are realities with us. We know that the journey of technological innovation is challenging more than we could imagine. The thing is, core technologies could not only be imported. Instead, we must depend upon ourselves. With our bare hands, we can develop them. More than the BCIs, infrared uh, probe, infrared imaging technologies also come to help make some breakthroughs to be even world leading. And also we try to develop the low altitude industry. For example, the Smart City Project, hundreds of uh, the drones are flying autonomously without human control. AI can analyze data, and the analysis results can be conveyed and shared with government agencies as well as the ground control personage in order to make instant decisions. That technology could solve some problems in the city management, and our urban management could be more efficient and intelligent. In the meantime, there could be a lot more new industries to benefit from the technology, because we inject new vitality to the industries. And that is thanks to technological innovation. 25 years ago, in Wuhan, there was a bare land, and we developed the Gai Infrared Limited Corporation. After 25 years of efforts, we developed the whole industrial chain base of infrared technology, and we accomplished many world-level achievements. Now, we are sitting in the dynamic Guanggu, 
And we are very proud of our achievements. As a high-tech company, in the future, we must keep up the R&D and develop more cutting-edge technologies that could help us to accomplish our dreams. A series of technological breakthroughs could support the development of new quality productive forces with our due contribution. And we can prove to the world that whatever can be realized by others can be done in China. Thank you.